The first time in history that tanks were used in war was in World War I. Tanks were introduced on the battlefield in the Battle of Flares Corselet in September 1916. Even though the tanks were very slow, with a top speed of only 4 miles per hour, they increased mobility and broke the stalemate of trench warfare on the Western Front. August to September 1915 marked the date for the initial vehicle that would inspire the tanks that followed. Little Willie was constructed by William Foster and Company. A prototype following this design, the Mark I tank was demonstrated on 2 February 1916 to the British Army. The French produced the most tanks during this period and their first tanks were fielded on April 1917. The Germans only started development on tanks named A7Vs in response to the tanks of the Allied forces. The Allied forces produced thousands of tanks during World War I. However, Germany only deployed 20 tanks during the war. The first tank versus tank battle took place in 24 April 1918 between three German and three British tanks. JFC Fuller developed Plan 1919, which included massive use of tanks for offensive tactics. Plan 1919 was never used as the United States entered the war and the blockade of Germany brought an end to the war. During 1918, a secret project was supervised by Orville Wright and Charles F. Kettering. Fifteen years after Orville Wright piloted the first powered airplane, the first unmanned aerial vehicle was developed. Charles F. Kettering was an electrical engineer and founder of Dalco, which pioneered in electrical ignition systems. The company was bought out by General Motors. At General Motors, Kettering was approached by the US government to develop the first self-flying aerial torpedo as they were entering World War I. This torpedo would later be known as the Kettering Bug. The Kettering Bug was a simple biplane made out of wood with a wingspan of 15 feet. It weighed around 530 pounds, which includes a 180 pound bomb. It was powered by a four cylinder, 40 horsepower Ford engine. It was believed that it could be used against enemy defenses up to 75 miles away. Operators used wind direction and speed, as well as the distance it needed to fly, to calculate the amount of revolutions needed to reach the target. After the Kettering bug reached the amount of revolutions, a cam dropped and the wings were released from the plane. Then it just simply dropped on the target. There were less than 50 bugs built, but they were never used in battle as World War I ended. Before the start of the First World War, the idea of launching aircraft from ships were already making its rounds. The first aircraft carriers evolved from balloon carriers, but by the end of the war, in 1918, only two aircraft carriers with full-length flight decks were in service. Planes could only be launched from the first carriers, and the pilots had to fly back to land or ditch the plane in the ocean after their mission. Seaplanes were started being used as the ships were fitted with cranes. The pilot would land near the ship and then be hoisted up by the crane. This method somewhat solved the problem but was slow. The HMS Ark Royal is arguably the world's first modern aircraft carrier. The ship was a merchant ship that had been converted into an airplane slash seaplane carrier. An ocean liner was converted by the British to have a full-length flight deck. They launched it in 1918 and called it the HMS Argus. This ship never partook in the war as it just ended the same year. 
but this ship paved the way for future naval tactics and changed naval warfare for good. <laughs>